Let's try Olan again. Uh, let's put this up. There we go. Let's start a giveaway. It's been... Uh, one of those running. There we go. Giveaway's running, guys. Come on and get some free stuff as we go try Oland again. I don't mind carriers. That's like... Even games like... I had a really frustrating game against a carrier last week, but the carrier wasn't... Was I died. wasn't why I died. I died because I was stupid, right? I, I played in a manner that was contradictory to my own survival. It doesn't bother me. I've been... I've been playing destroyers and carrier games from day one, um, and I'm just used to having to deal with it. It's just part of it. Mm. There we go. All right, so tier 10 game. Again, a game that I absolutely don't want to run anymore. Now, I got radars. I got four radars on their team, plus planes. So this will probably be a quick game for me. I basically can't go anywhere near a cap circle or I'm dead, especially on Greece. This map is just atrociously bad for, for, for destroyer play. I'm going to go to B, and maybe I can cap, but probably not. Because they can drive a... The other thing about, about Greece, you can drive a cruiser into the B cap, and there's basically jack all I can do about it, right? Until you get out to the wings, the cruisers can hold B. But there's not a chance in hell I'm going to A. I'll, a, is, a is a place to die. That's all that is right now. A is a place for me to die. But no, Stats was talk, Stats was talking about this on his stream. I guess it was Monday? Was it last night? Yesterday afternoon? Afternoon for us, night for him. But he was talking about how he doesn't mind um, necessarily playing a destroyer in a carrier game. And I'm in the same boat, right? To me, it's a, it's, it's, it's a different challenge, um, especially if you've got a ship like an Oland or a Fletcher. Turn the A off for the moment. Um, that can defend itself, right? So it's a question of when do I use my A? When do I not use my A? Um, you know, like earlier, when I started the other game, I was intentionally testing the AA. In fact, I'll probably I'll probably do the same thing here. It looks like he's going to he's going to blunder into my AA bubble. Um so I'm genuinely curious to see how it goes. The fact that the heel is weaker here on this on this class gives me a little more pause than it otherwise might have. On Ostergotland and Holland, I was just utterly fearless. I was like, I don't care. Throw your stupid stinking little dinky dinky planes out there. I'll just shred them. See, he saw the Alaska. Whoosh, he's out. He's out. Well, it's not, I mean, it, again, I come back to, it's a question of what your defense is. Let's see if I can entice him to come in for a strike. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. <laughs> Bring it on. Ah, it wasn't so bad. I didn't even use DF. I had too many ships nearby to bother with it. So the enemy Friesland is in the B cap, which means that basically the B cap is going to go nowhere because our just our we're not going to be able to root him out with a, with a, with carrier planes. That's not going to happen. Pana, thanks for tuning in, man. Have a good one. Is he reversing? He was. He's not. He's about to not be reversing. missed him now the other nice thing about this particular vantage point is that if i'm clever i can fire torpedoes from this cap in all kinds of directions i've got a 12 kilometer torpedo range that feels pretty good Shoot down some more planes. Get that out of the way. Now we're going to blow the DF because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this garbage. All of that, and he still missed me. All right. Oh, somebody left the cap. Somebody left the cap. I was about to get moving.
All right, well, they killed the Friesland, so that feels really good. I'm kind of excited about that, honestly, not going to lie. What is this Soyuz doing? Looks like he's trying to get moving, so let's throw him a couple of wide-ish salvos about like that. We still don't own this cap. What are you guys doing in there? Are you getting shot or something? Stop that. Stop getting shot. All right, we finally capped. Let's go try and cap A. But I don't think we can do much to A that, that doesn't include um, doesn't include just running away. There's a Des Moines over there somewhere. Yeah, he was behind the Massachusetts, but I don't think we can hold back the masses. That's gonna be it's gonna be unpleasant to try and figure out. We'll give it a shot. I think he's not. I think he's gonna dodge all these torps. Yeah. That's all right. I got more. He's reload quick. I got more where those came from. My detection? Five, five, seven. Have fun with those. All right, we're going to lose A. We can't hold A. The Des Moines is far enough back that I might be able to cap it while these masses wrap around the edge. Yeah, they beat the crap out of the DM, so that feels okay. He's 13 clicks out. I'm going to work the extreme bottom end of A and see what I can get. Hopefully, I can pick up this cap. Yeah, you're about to eat some love. Enjoy the love from me. I got his engine. He's not flooding, though. That feels kind of crappy. I needed a flood. Okay, the DM is at 11 clicks and closing. But the Soyuz is burning. He'll be out momentarily. There he goes. So now it's a question of whether or not this DM realizes I'm in his radar range or not. Because that's about to happen here momentarily. And once he radars me, I want to be somewhere else. Right yep, there it is. He hasn't locked on to me yet. trying to fire behind me. Yep, it's the only shot he's got. Yep, with that big island in the way, he has no shot. Otherwise, don't go out of the camp! Don't jump out of the camp! Ah! That sucks. Damn. It's alright, his radar will be over before no long. And no chicks. He was guessing. Uh, he's just going to sit in there, basically, and make my life hell. So now I can't cap. It's fine. Uh, Thanks, Floofy, because I guess nobody's ever allowed to make mistakes. Kill that DM, please. You make me very happy. Keep moving, Georgia. Those are going behind you. You guys should really kill this DM. He's on like 2,000 HP. You kill him and I'll go grab the cap for you. Thank you. We're down a ship. We need this cap pretty badly. So I'm going to go get it. They're just European. They're not really pan-Euro. There really is no such thing. It's just the European line. And I'm going to miss because... Bad. We need to kill this mass. You guys need to kill this guy while you've got him under your guns. Why are we all running? Why is everyone running? Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Thank you. All right. Uh, I think it's 90%, actually, because the Tier 1 is Polish. The tier It is 80%. The Tier 1 is Polish. The Tier 2 is Austrian. The rest are all Swedish. Yes. But they don't call it Pan-Euro anymore. They just call it Euro. 
All right, we're going to do something inadvisable just because I want to know how this is going to work. We're going to sail off by ourselves just so we can see how the AA holds up when I'm bought all alone. He put his flood out? He put his flood out. Will somebody kill him then? All right, Friedrich is the next closest ship. He's going into the cap. Apparently, my team has no idea how to live, so that's, you know, typical. <laughs> Friedrich's turning the other way. Now, this is something inadvisable. I shouldn't be doing this. But I'm going to do it anyway because I want to see want to see how this plays out. This guy's at the extreme edge of my gun range. But I can also... He spotted somehow. I can use this island to shell him and reset him and make a general nuisance of myself. Yep. So let's stop for a bit. We're just going to sit right here and shell this guy. Now we're going to move up. So we're going to move up slowly. You're never going to cap while I'm here, sir. While I live, you're going. You're not capping. Might get a fire eventually. Baltimore looks like he's going to try and come around and find me. They really need to... Bama, you'd make me so happy if you'd kill that Baltimore. The fact that he's alive is very sad. All right, I'm in his radar range now. You guys should really kill that Benson. God, this Bama is going to get himself killed. He had the perfect chance to wipe out this Baltimore, and he failed. Because he was busy doing something. And yet somehow we still have a ship lead. Because all of their ships are in the same two grid squares. Brain cage! Oh my goodness, with the big raid. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to the regular Tuesday night insanity here on my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Ah, excellent. We managed, we managed to sneak one into the Baltimore. Is he flooding? Now he put it out. Moto, I killed you? What game was that? Or what, you're talking about Brain Cage. Okay, Brain killed you in an earlier game. I was like, when did I kill you? All right, Thunderer and Cleveland, it's time for you guys to be useful. You need to get on that for me, would you? I'm going to keep these bloody cruisers spotted, but you guys have got to do something with them. All right, fine. I will. I'll try and reset the Cleveland. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. These shells are so slow. I don't think I'm going to get there. Actually, I might get there just barely. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Screw you, Cleveland. Ooh, ooh, Baltimore's low. I can kill that guy. Come on. Go away, Cleveland. I'm busy. Can't you see I'm busy killing your buddy? Go away. 551 HP. Come on. Yes. Go away, Cleveland. I'm busy. You bother me. Thank you. Thunderer takes care of things. <laughs> oh, bring it, little implacable. Bring it, baby. All right, guys. Here's our chance. Let's put the AA of this thing to the test. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. Solid hit.
Now, if Implacable works like Audacious, uh, watching planes fall out of the sky is so satisfying. If Implacable works like Audacious, he'll have one more full Srock rocket squadron before he's out. So as long as I can survive these guys, he basically only has bombs to throw at me. Now, the other thing is, I'm not confident I can do much to this guy because of his armored deck, and I only have 120 millimeter shells, right? So that's kind of that's going to be kind of crappy. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. <laughs> you pull them all out? You pulled them all out. Okay, well, that's fine. You do you. So now, basically, he probably has to bring back the bombs. Because he's... he's he's not, he, doesn't have a, he no longer has a full rocket squadron on his deck. Yeah, he's bringing back the bombs. I'll have DF in 20 seconds. And I'm not going to give him time to set this run up. By turning off my AA and flying straight into him, he will not have time to get this run off. He'll have to go past me, loop around, and come back. And by then, my defensive fire will be up. I mean, good luck and stuff, but it ain't gonna happen. It's fine. You got a crappy run. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. Oops, you got trolled, son. You got rockets on deck yet? I bet you don't. See, this is why, like, you reach a point where I just don't mind this. I don't mind playing these little these little games with the carrier. It doesn't bother me. Oh, you swallowed some flack. That sucks to be you, dude. After a few days of R and R, I'll be ready for more action. It should be a pretty good game. I've got I've got a bunch of plane kills. I've got two full caps. I've got a boatload of spotting damage because I've been I've lit I've had this guy lit forever. So now he's bringing basically the last thing he's got out of his arsenal. Which is the torpedoes, and this doesn't really frighten me all that much. And the game's over. Well, of course, like that's the that's that's the point of when you play a destroyer in a CV game, you have to be smart early. If you do it, this is what Stats was talking about the other day on stream, right? If you do the same thing you do every game, as a, if you zone the game as a destroyer, you do the exact same thing you do every game, despite whether there's a carry or not, when there's a carry around, you're going to get wrecked. You have to change how you play. It changes how you play. It's always changed how you play from day one. Back when the only carriers in the game, the only tier 10 carriers in the game were hacking midway, right? Like, you saw them all the time. You'd see double midway games. Let me tell you how much fun that was, right? But, but you have to change how you play. It's different. And I vastly prefer this now because now I have a chance against a carrier player. Whereas before, he would just triple drop my ass, cross drop me, and my game was over, right? You had to play differently, but as soon as he found you, a, comp a really good carrier player could just wipe you out. And the only people playing carriers in that era were the really good ones, right? Whereas in this era, eh, you find all kinds of people.